When is Amazon Prime Day 2021 and what can you expect this Amazon Prime Day? This is what you need to know. Welcome back to the channel and the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite. Today's video is not sponsored in any way. I'm here to separate the myth, the frugal fact from fiction, and also present to you and reveal the exact deals you can expect when Prime Day begins. If you guys like this content, please give this video a thumbs up and feel free to, that was a delayed thumbs up I did there, but feel free to share this with any fellow Amazon shoppers. Shopping secret number one. When is Amazon Prime Day 2021? It is Monday, June 21st and Tuesday, June 22nd. As we get to Amazon, on Prime Day 2021 this year for the first time ever. It's in June. Preceding years, it had been featured in July and last year, based on everything going on in the world, it was shifted to October. It is a global event, although in some countries, Prime Day has been canceled this year, including Canada. But if you are watching in the US right now, Prime Day is coming. Shopping secret number two, Prime Day in the past has been kind of an opportunity for people to shop from Amazon, whether or not they were actually Prime members. This year, I've been told Amazon is going full force as a crackdown. And if you are not an Amazon, Prime member, there's a very good chance you will not see or be able to access many deals. The good news is you do not have to pay for a Prime membership. The cost of a full Prime membership breaks down to around $12.99 per month plus any applicable tax. If you're a student, you get a discount, but if you have an EBT card or if you're on government assistance, you can get Prime for essentially half price. But for the sake of this video, that's neither here nor there. If you are not a Prime member and don't want to remain a paying member, you can use a free 30-day trial. If you expand the video description box, you're going to find a link to a free 30-day trial. And I would highly recommend that you just activate that free 30-day trial before Prime Day, and then you can reap the benefits, access the deal, score the savings, and cancel if you so choose after Prime Day 2021. Shopping secret number three before I unveil some huge screen Prime Day television deals is tied to the fact if you're not that hot on Amazon, you can actually score Prime Day deals at many of your other favorite retailers. Let's take Walmart as an example. Walmart essentially celebrates Prime Day by announcing a counter sale, which usually follows the exact same dates as Prime Day, the same week or sometimes a week before or after. Other stores that run their own sales events, Best Buy and Target, usually in conjunction with the discounts you see for Prime Day. So if you absolutely want to avoid Amazon on Prime Day, you can enjoy discounts elsewhere. Although I will tell you just as a consumer analyst and a deal advocate and someone that really just wants to watch out for your wallet. Prime Day deals are generally considered some of the best deals of the year, and many of them are better than Black Friday or Cyber Monday if you pick the correct category. Which brings me to shopping secret number four and the truth about televisions on Prime Day. So if you guys are not aware, the single best time of the year to buy a television is the week leading up to Black Friday. And in most cases, many of the TVs you see advertised on Black Friday itself never really sold for the list price because they were built specifically for the occasion. The week leading into Black Friday is a completely different story. Cyber Monday isn't great for televisions. Around the big game in February, we do see some higher end television discounts, which are always welcome. And then Prime Day is kind of hit or miss on televisions. But for this Amazon Prime Day 2021, Amazon is taking some of the highest end televisions ever created, not even a year old, heavily discounting them. And then on top of that, they have their own brand. So let's take the Samsung 65 inch Q900 TS television as an example. If you guys are wondering, how am I seeing this television advertised at this price before Prime Day? Typically what I see for the days and weeks leading into Prime Day, many of the major merchants that have partnered with Amazon for specific deals will test their deals out early. And I believe this Q900 TS QLED 8K TV is one of those deal tests. So they put up a limited amount of stock and then they drop it to what is a Prime Day price or almost a Prime Day price? On Prime Day or in the days leading up, I expect this TV to be around $200 cheaper with the addition of a coupon. But 51% off a newly released mid-2020 television at this price is worth a look. I actually placed an order for this television so I could test it out. It has an infinity edge display. It's stainless steel. I realized that an 8K TV is complete overkill. It does upscale a lot of your content and it supposedly has one of the best 3D sound systems ever put into a television. Ahead of Prime Day, I decided I would start researching many of the big deals. 
A significantly less expensive television is this all new Toshiba 50 inch, released just in time for Prime Day. You can see it barely has any ratings right now. And this 50 inch Toshiba 4K Fire TV will be something that's heavily promoted and discounted on Prime Day, where you'll see around $100 to $150 off many of the Fire TVs, including this model. Before I reveal what you should not under any circumstances buy right now made by Amazon, shopping secret number five is tied to Robovax and for Prime Day this year, this will be the year of the Robovac or Prime Day Robovac Day because merchants are more desperate than ever to move stock. If you watch price trends day in and day out as I do, these Robovacs are always on sale. So what can we expect? We'll see offerings substantially better than what you see on your screen right now tied to brands like Roborock. Roborock does run a lot of Prime Day deals. The entry level brands like iLife, Eufy, Anchor will all have deals. And then for the higher end robotic self-emptying vacs like this iRobot Roomba i7 Plus, you can expect this price that you see on your screen to be a lot closer to $4.99 when Prime Day strikes. That'll also include discounts on the iLife. Amazon Prime Day 2021 shopping secret number six. I would not under any circumstance by any product made by Amazon in the days leading up to Prime Day unless it is a full 50% off. So if you do see enticing limited time offers, do not buy them. And the key to understanding Prime Day is knowing just how many brands Amazon operates or has significant partnerships with. So I'm going to show you a few examples of what I would not buy. If you see anything on Amazon that is tagged as an Amazon exclusive, I realize Amazon does not make these headphones, Sony does, but a pair of headphones like this will sell for somewhere between $50 and $99 on Prime Day. Do not buy it for $178. And again, that Amazon exclusive is a signifier to you that it presents no savings in advance of Prime Day. For the other brands that Amazon makes that you may be more aware of, there are the Echo Dots, the Echo Shows, the regular Echoes, the Echo Frames, anything that has the word Echo in it. But then there are all of the other brands that some people still do not know are owned by Amazon. And these are brands that Amazon recently bought. And before I get to those brands, by the way, of course, the Fire TV Sticks, by no means a good purchase leading up to Prime Day. So there's Eero, which is a mesh web-based Wi-Fi boosting company, and there will be many exclusive sales tied to Prime Day. I would not buy any Eero products or Eero extenders before Prime Day. Ring as well, Ring Security, Ring Video Doorbell, stay as far away from those as you can before Prime Day. Blink, if you are not aware, is now also an Amazon company. So if you are looking into home security, home automation, anything remotely tied to keeping your family safe, if you can afford a few weeks grace before you actually secure their safety, I would. It sounds like just awful advice that I'm giving out here. It's the well-being of your family, but you should save an additional $20. But again, it's the difference between paying full price and a 50% or 40% reduction in some cases. You can enjoy many Whole Foods products as well as Prime Day deals exclusively exclusively offered at Whole Foods. Generally, the only time a year where I ever set foot in a Whole Foods, just based on my financial level of comfort, is Prime Day. And before I get to shopping secret number seven, if you would like me to text you all of the biggest deals in advance of Amazon Prime Day and throughout the occasion itself, I will not spam you. You are welcome to join my Insider Deal Guide texting club. Just drop me a line, send me a text to sign up. My phone number, 440-298-2181, 440-298-2181, 2982181 and I promise to make this your best prime day yet. Shopping secret number seven. If you do see something advertised as an early access prime day deal, it is safe to buy before prime day. And we generally see the early access prime deals or the deals designated as prime day early deals in the 72 hours that precede Prime Day and things like 50% off in Echo Auto, this actually might even drop to $19.99 closer to the occasion. All deals that you should consider if you don't wanna risk sellouts or delayed shipping. And when it comes to lightning deals and specific Prime Shopping events, you can definitely shop through and browse all of those carousels, but one quick trick, if you preload all of the items that you are considering in your shopping cart, not necessarily a save for later purchase, but just add the items that you are considering to your shopping cart, in the event they drop in price, you will see it. If you're on the app, you might even get a pop-up and then you can complete your purchase without having to worry about getting stock that so many people are all trying to buy into at the same time. Shopping secret number eight. Consider the necessities rather than just the wants for Prime Day and you will feel very rewarded. Things like 
diapers if you are a parent shopping for them. Things like Ancestry DNA kits, which make interesting gifts, will all drop by 50% on Prime Day from the big brands like Ancestry DNA, 23andMe, and some of the anti-aging beauty products. I feel like I should put this all over my face and then double the dose considering how this month has been going. I just keep aging. My wife looks younger. People think she's my daughter in photos. The anti-aging serum three pack that you see right here, $16.95 as a lightning deal. One of many offerings you will see for Prime Day, just in those cases, it'll be around 10 to 20% better. For the next two Amazon Prime Day shopping secrets I'm gonna share, these are mistakes you wanna avoid at all costs, and then I'm gonna explore a couple of Amazon Prime Day bonuses to save you even more money. Shopping secret number nine, pay very specific attention to the generations of the products being sold to you on Amazon Prime Day. Now, Amazon knows a lot about your user history and they may actually cultivate and send certain products onto your radar, whether it's through ads on Amazon itself, or through bundles. Let's start with bundles for a moment. When you see a bundle advertised on Amazon, it doesn't generally present the value that Amazon is demonstrating. So what they do is they average in all of the full cost price of the products and then they tell you how much you're saving. Although most of the deals tied to products in the bundle are products that have never sold for full price. Well, that's probably not life-changing advice the issue with the bundles is it's very difficult to see what generation you're being sold of the base product. So right here, I'll see an Echo Show 5. I get excited. I think I'm saving 47% according to Amazon. But the truth is, this is a first generation product and you'd have absolutely no idea through a quick glance at the page right now, specifically on Prime Day where you feel rushed and pressured and you're trying to buy at a mile a minute. Right here, I'm able to see that this is in fact a first generation product and Amazon has since come out with a new generation Echo Show 5. But on Prime Day, if you see it, you might think that's a good deal. It is not. One other important note is in the days leading up to Prime Day, there will be exclusive deals on refurbished products from Amazon. I would not under any circumstances consider these good deals. Likely within $5 of the refurbished price, you'll get a new generation product. And that's definitely something to keep in mind despite how significant the savings look when they are advertised to you. You can also apply this reminder to TVs that are tied to Amazon partnerships, specifically anything that has the Fire TV name in it. Amazon just revamped mostly all of its Fire TV line. Generally look for a date tied to the top of the television title, specifically a at least 2021 is something you wanna see. When you do see other Fire TVs offered at a discount, if it doesn't say 2021 in the title and you go all the way down to the fine print, it will reveal that it is in fact a television that is more than a year old. I would go for a discount on the newer Fire TVs if you can. When it comes to some of the larger brands like Sony and Samsung, I would graciously welcome a television from last year if it was at a substantial discount. Amazon Prime Day shopping secret number 10 comes with another warning before I quickly show you a few more items not to buy in the bonus round. Understand who you are shopping from on Prime Day. I'll often have an incredible Prime Day and then I'll speak to one of my very few friends who I will confide in who will share that they had a terrible Prime Day. Prime Day is what you make of it, but it's also depending from where you buy your products. A lot of people complain about missed deliveries, items not showing up, they can't return the item which showed up wrong. Understand who you're shopping from on Amazon, and if you read any of the product pages on Prime Day or in general, you generally want to ensure you are shopping a product that is fulfilled by Amazon and, if even better, has free returns. You can see on this product right here, although this product is not sold by Amazon, it is in fact shipping from an Amazon warehouse. On other products like this HP laptop, you'll see it just says free delivery. A lot of people see free delivery and they assume they've locked in a prime item. You have not. In this case, you are dealing with a third party merchant and if something goes wrong or you regret your prime day purchase, it's a lot more difficult to return the item. That's particularly important to keep in mind on televisions. And some of the TV partnerships will just blow your mind. This TV is advertised as a Fire TV, so you'd immediately assume Amazon has something to do with the sale or the shipping of the television. In this case right now, it is ships from and sold by Best Buy, which I always find mind boggling because Best Buy is essentially an Amazon competitor, but they do have partnerships in place. And just keep in mind where your product comes from on Prime Day before you complete your purchase. And now for your bonus shopping secret, in addition to all of the Kindle eBooks and many of the deals tied to subscription services, if you are not yet aware, the Prime Video subscription service, as well as the Amazon Music Unlimited subscriptions will have substantial discounts offered only to new members on Amazon Prime Day. So if you are considering a subscription right now on anything tied to Amazon, 
do not subscribe. You will be pleasantly rewarded on Prime Day. Sometimes you'll get six months free. Sometimes you'll get 50% off. It depends on the product, but the savings will be worth it if you wait. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for waiting to this ending part of the video. It meant a lot that you've been here to save money with me along the way. If you like this content, please give this video a thumbs up. I did that delayed thumbs up again, but anyhow, subscribe, turn your notifications on. It's been a long day. And a reminder, if you want early access to any of the massive Prime Day deals, or you just want me to send you the deals that I think are most worthwhile, my website is thedealguy.com. There is a way you can subscribe to my email newsletter. I will not spam you. To date for this year, I don't even think I've sent out one email newsletter yet. I'm waiting for a big deal and a big occasion. And my insider deal guy texting club number again, 440-298-2181. Thank you for watching. Happy Prime Day 2021.